Hello doctors, welcome back to Dokshala. Today in our NEET MDS 2021 recall series, we are going to see a video about Gau Gates technique, the LA technique that we use from the subject oral and maxillofacial surgery. Question they have asked in the previous exam was, they have given an image like this and the question was to identify the technique from the image shown below. So the options they gave were IA and B, that is what is an INB? Inferior alveolar nerve block, then extraoral INB, Gauguet's technique, and Akinosi Vezrani technique. Okay. Let us now see what is Gauguet's technique. From this image, you can see that the injection is uh, getting inserted into a specific site here. So by injecting here, what we what we can achieve? Let us see that. So it was uh, described by Gau Gates in 1973. It is also known as a true mandibular nerve block. Okay, so this is very important. This is known as true mandibular nerve block because it provides sensory anesthesia to the entire mandibular nerve. Okay, so it provides sensory anesthesia to the entire mandibular nerve and hence it is known as a true mandibular nerve block. So it blocks the following branches of the mandibular nerve that is inferior alveolar, lingual, mylohyoid, mental, incisive, auriculotemporal and buccal. So injection at the site of the mandibular nerve will block all these branches. Okay. So the technique involves usage of 27 gauze needle that is a long gauze needle this one okay so 25 or 27 long gauze needle and the area of insertion for this is so where do we insert this needle on the mucous membrane on mesial aspect of the mandibular ramus okay so the mesial aspect of the mandibular ramus on a line from intertragic north corner to the mouth just distal to the maxillary second molar so I think you didn't understand anything from this thing, right? So I, I'll just explain it using an image on a video. So uh, let us see the landmarks first. So we have intraoral landmarks and extraoral landmarks. Intraorally, we have seen the maxillary second molar is the landmark. So the needle tip should be inserted just below the mesiolingual cusp of the maxillary second molar. So this is the intraoral landmark. And extraorally, extraorally, the main landmark is intertragic inter notch. Intertragic notch is nothing but that we see in the external auditory meatus, right? So actually it is the external auditory meatus only, but since it is covered by the tragus, we take the lower border of the intertragic notch as an extraoral landmark. And the uh, uh, another, uh, and another landmark is corner, corner of mouth on contralateral side. To the technique, of the gau gate so uh, we'll see that from this video in this video the uh, clinician here is um, uh, first trying to identify the landmarks that we have discussed then we'll see the site of injection so here he is palpating the intertragic notch that we see in the gau gates technique which is an extra oral uh, landmark then he is uh, showing the mesiolingual cusp of the maxillary second molar which is the intraoral landmark for the gau gates technique so you can see here and then one more landmark that we have is the corner of the mouth from contralateral side. So what these landmarks do, they determine the site of injection of the needle for uh, our local anesthesia. So he's uh, once again showing the uh, landmark, so intertragic notch. So we'll palpate it, we can uh, feel that uh, notch in the condylar region okay inside the mouth and mesiolingual cusp of the maxillary second molar and corner of the mouth so now we'll take a 25 or 27 long gauze needle to inject the local anesthesia at the injection site okay so we'll take the needle Palpate it, determine the site of injection. We'll take the needle, and from the you can see how he's uh, putting the needle from the contralateral side of the corner of the mouth towards the just below the mesio lingual cusp of the maxillary second molar. He's placing the injection, 
aspirate it and then inject the local anesthesia so that will this will help in anesthetizing the entire mandibular nerve of that side okay so this is the technique and i hope it is clear from this video now Then coming to the target side, we have seen the target side right now. So it is the lateral side of the condylar neck. So you can see that here just below the insertion of lateral pterygoid muscle. Okay. Then coming to the extra oral INV, we are just going to see the pictures of the uh, uh, the other techniques, uh, the other options that they have given so that we can arrive, like we can just distinguish what they are asking. So for extra oral INV, that's, that is INV is nothing but inferior alveolar nerve block so this is the injection site that we use okay then coming to INV you know it is a very popular technique that we use for uh, uh, anesthetizing the inferior alveolar nerve so this is the injection site for that then coming to akinosi mesirani technique this is a closed mouth technique so here the patient is asked to close his mouth and clench his teeth and then the anesthesia is given whereas the gauge technique is wide open mouth so we ask the patient to open wide right so that is the difference between these two techniques okay coming to the question so the question the image they gave is this so here you can see that the site of injection is towards the condylar neck on the lateral side so hence the option the correct answer will be extra gauge technique okay you do subscribe to our youtube channel you can also follow us on our instagram handles at dogshala for dental content and at dogshala medical for medical content you can also follow us on telegram thank you